everyone, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel. Lots of you shared how much you loved my 50 free Valentine's Day pattern roundup and so I have another 50 free patterns to share with you today. It is currently March and the weather is finally warming up and we've got some big holidays coming up like St. Patrick's Day, Mother's Day, Easter, and I am so ready for spring. Bring on the pastels, bring on the florals. I've actually got a great variety of patterns that I wanted to give a shout out to today and I had so much fun researching to try to introduce you to some new designs and new designers that you might not already be familiar with. I feel like this is a great way to discover new designers as well as support other artists. So grab your cup of coffee. This is definitely not my first cup of the day. Let's hop right to it. For the first category we have crochet animals. Of course, I need to feature my giant bee pattern. Fun fact, this was actually my very first giant pattern that I attempted way back in, I think 2021, which is when this yarn started getting really popular. And little did I know how loved she would be. I named her Jumbo the Bee, very fitting. She's really easy to whip up. And I think at her widest, she is only 48 stitches. So when you think about that, that whips up pretty quickly. Something I spent a lot of time developing were her wings. I wanted to make sure that they were perky and whimsical. I will have all of the patterns linked in the description below. Speaking of bees, when my daughter was really little, I wanted to make my own little mobile thing for her. Mo mobile, I think is how you say it. So I crocheted a bunch of bees. I wanted to make some fun, playful expressions as well and introduce her to the different emotions that we feel. It is a very similar pattern to Jumbo the Bee with slight modifications in the wings. When you make the stripes out of a gray yarn or even a brown yarn, it just makes it so much softer. Perfect for just a desk buddy or a little plushie for your little one, but also great for mobiles as well. Next up is Gertrude the Grumpy Chick. I actually just came out with a full YouTube tutorial for absolute beginners and she also has a free blog pattern on my website. So one thing to know is that the YouTube pattern is the most updated version of this design. I made a few improvements along the way and it's hard to believe that it's already almost been four years since Gertrude was designed. I actually also have on Gertrude earrings and these were micro crocheted by a good friend of mine. Um, she is amazing at what she does. You can find her Instagram over here. So of course her little hat comes off and the main difference of how she's been modified is that the hat does not have straps. I felt like that part was a little bit tricky for crocheters and so I just omitted it altogether and I think she still looks plenty cute. And the next free pattern that we have is Joey the Mallard Duckling and he is Gertrude's boyfriend. <laughs> came out as a free pattern last year. It's just a Gertrude body modification and you can find both free patterns on my website. They have the cutest little meat cute that you can read all about in the link in the description. Of course, because her hat comes off, we also have a free eggshell outfit. I just think she makes the cutest little Easter chick ever with a little spunk. Next is this free cow pattern by One Cent Crochet. It's a really cool tutorial that uses plush yarn and I think the little color changes with the eye patch are just so adorable. Next is Stella's Universe, the blue tit. I've been following Stella on Instagram for a long time now and I just think that her creations are so whimsical and so detailed and I feel like that's definitely the style that I'm drawn to personally and this is one of Stella's many free bird patterns that you can find on her website. So we have the Good Luck Duck by Sweet Softies. Jade comes out with lots of low or no sew patterns this looks so easy and quick to whip up. I feel like Teacher's Appreciation Week is also another big event that happens in the spring. This would be such a cute, quick project to whip up for our favorite teachers. Another pattern by Sweet Softies is Bluebell the Bunny. This um, Amigurumi doll is a little bit more intricate and I really like the different accessories that are included in this. This pattern will teach you how to make different clothing, this cute little carrot bag which is also free. Next we have this Hello Kitty pattern by Eugenia. I've yet to try this pattern but I absolutely love Hello Kitty and anything Sanrio. I actually have a big collection that I'm trying to figure out how to display in my new studio. I really like the different spring themed costumes that they have as well. And of course with Easter rolling around, we can't forget our Easter peeps. These peep bunnies by Rose and Lily have been circulating the internet for quite some time now and they look super easy to whip up. I feel like if you made these in like micro plush yarn, you could hide them inside of eggs and that would just be the cutest Easter surprise ever. Continuing on the theme of bunnies, stringy ding ding scraptacular bunnies. If you're like me and you have no idea what to do with your scrap yarn, finding a scrap project like this would be perfect. This is perfect for those leftover skeins where you just don't know what to do with it and then it's just sitting there taking up space. 
and this is the perfect excuse to use it all up so you can go yarn shopping again. Next is this adorable mouse by Sarah D. Crochet holding a really cute tulip and this is just so precious. I really love how this worked up in the yarn that Sarah used. You know, is it just me? Next is Asher the Ox by Little Aqua Girl. When I think of spring, I'm thinking of a lot of farm animals. And this little bow is so signature of Erinus Designs. Next is this really cute lamb crochet pattern by Jess Huff. She also has a ton of other adorable farm animal patterns for free on her blog as well. But what I liked in particular was the little texture from the bobble stitches for the wool. I thought that was so creative and that must be a really fun like sensory thing if you're making this for a little one. Another sheet pattern that is too cute is this little lamb pattern by Sorella. There is just something so pure. And last for the sheep is Norman the Sheep, and this is a free pattern hosted on Lovecrafts. So if you guys didn't know, you can find a ton of free patterns on yarn websites such as Hobie.com, Yarnspirations.com, Lovecrafts.com, Lionbrand.com, and so, so much more. Next is Poop Poo the Pig by Craft Passion. And I absolutely love that name, Poo Poo the Pig. It looks super cute and I just love the different positions that you can sew on the limbs and the head to make it look like it is in motion. Next is this adorable birthday piglet by Eliza's Crochet. I feel like the touch of the birthday hat is so adorable but of course you can always make this pig without the accessory as well coffee break so the next category is insects up next is the very hungry caterpillar and this is by solta hooker i hope i'm saying that correctly as a former elementary school teacher we loved eric carl books and this is by far one of the most iconic stories that littles enjoy and again i feel like this would make a great gift for your favorite educators your principal your librarian your teachers you just can't go wrong Next we have a butterfree pattern, a butterfly Pokemon, and this is by Erin May Crochet. Erin May also has lots of other Pokemon patterns that I absolutely love. And if you didn't already know this about me, I am a huge Pokemon fan. I remember receiving a Game Boy Color Yellow and the red version of the first Pokemon game that came out, I think for my fifth birthday? <laughs> And then I like bought all of the little accessories to deck it out, like the worm light so you could play in the dark. And I also had like a blue cable that you could connect your Game Boy Color to somebody else's and do trades. <laughs> and I remember running home from the bus stop every single day after school to catch the last 10 minutes of Pokemon because they always aired it like while I was still on my way home. And it would be the saddest thing ever, but it was still something I looked forward to every single day. And I went on to play all of the games that came after Red Version. And I had like Silver Version, I had Sapphire and Ruby, and then I picked it up again when the games were released for the Nintendo Switch. Okay, and now I'm getting really sidetracked. Back to bugs and insects. <laughs> We're back at Stella's Universe because she has some lovely bugs and insect patterns for you. Monarch butterflies are something that we would see every single spring growing up in Michigan. I feel like the detailing on these wings are absolutely gorgeous. Stella's designs are so detail oriented and lovely and I really do recommend that you are an intermediate plus crocheter to attempt her patterns. She also has a really adorable ladybug and dragonfly pattern that I wanted to feature as well. Another butterfly pattern is by Cuddly Stitches. The shaping for this one may be a little more beginner friendly. I feel like there's also lots of possibilities in how to modify the wings with different colors and shapes. And lastly is this really cool beetle by Skein Spider. I stumbled upon her YouTube channel a little bit ago and I was so amazed at all of the free patterns that she has up there. She does a really great job explaining things and also walking you through difficult steps if attempting more advanced techniques. So be sure to check out her other tutorials as well. Next is the miscellaneous amigurumi category. First up is this really cute watering can by Lovely Craft. You can modify the watering can to be yellow, which I think is a beautiful spring color. And it might be a really cute Easter favor to stick some chocolates in there or, or even some crochet flowers. Well, hopefully St. Patrick's Day hasn't passed yet by the time I'm able to upload this video. But next we have Seamus Shamrock by Spin and Yarn. I don't know about you, but I remember growing up and spending hours searching for four-leafed clovers. And I can tell you to this day, I have never had success with it. Aww. Now, I don't have any on hand, which I am so sad about because both of my kids were playing with them earlier and they hid them all over the house. But here is my free Easter egg pattern. 
This is a great stash busting project. The fun thing about this is that you can use any yarn you have on hand. I even had some leftover thin baby yarn. I doubled up on it and used a bigger hook to make it this pretty gradient effect. My pattern comes with instructions on how to make different variations, but still super easy to whip up. The next category of our spring free patterns is homeware. First up is my adorable bunny basket. And this used to hold the crochet eggs I was speaking of, but as I said, they have been misplaced. So I filled it up with some pretty colors of yarn instead, and this honestly gave me such a good idea. I feel like this would make such a cute gift for your yarn-loving friends, filling it up with a bunch of goodies like crochet hooks, needles, stitch markers, and beautiful skeins of pastel-colored yarn. Next up is this leaf vine garland on Lovecraft's website. I feel like this was a trend a couple of years back to crochet all of your cords and it's just a great way to spruce up your office space and make it look whimsical. Next up is this gingham blanket by Karen. Um, I featured a different gingham blanket by Daisy Farm Crafts in my last roundup but this is another one that was found on another yarn website. This would be perfect to take on picnics outdoors and though the cover image is blue I feel like this would be perfect in like a light green. It really reminds me of Isabel from Animal Crossing which has also been my latest obsession once again. I used to be like super serious about designing and building and I've like completed building these like really extravagant islands only to tear it all down and try a different theme all over again and that's what I'm in the middle of doing right now. <laughs> I totally wish you could have multiple islands without having a whole other system and buying a completely second game for it. But I digress once again. <laughs> Next is this daffodil pillow by Wonder Crochet. She also has a lot of other adorable flower pillows for free on her website. She has the forget-me-not, she has like a daisy looking flower, and I feel like this would be the perfect addition to your room, and it works up really fast because of the chunky yarn that you're using. Up next are these sunflower coasters by Stitch by Faye, and I feel like sunflowers are very versatile because not only do they represent spring, but they also represent fall and harvest season. You could definitely whip these out again when the weather starts cooling down. Up next is this adorable bunny garland by Knotted Nest. You could buy little white pom-poms if you don't want to individually hand make each of the tails and sticking them on with glue would make this craft super easy. I feel like this would also be a great job to involve your little ones with if you're looking for a way to incorporate them. Up next is a mini Easter basket and similar to the watering can you could fill this with little treats like little chocolate eggs. Another coaster pattern for you is this adorable cactus coaster set. What's really neat about this is that you can stack up all of the coasters together and they look like a succulent in a pot. This is by I Love Knots and this is certainly something that I would love to try. Potted plants that also double as coasters has also been trending and so up next we have the crochet flower coasters. I've seen a few different designs by different designers but this one is the best free one that I found and it is by Lacey Bloom and what's neat is when you roll up the coasters they look like flowers in a pot which doubles as home decor as well. Next for crochet plants is a string of pearls by Moara Crochet. She also has a bunch of other flower crochet tutorials and other plants on her blog as well. Lastly, for the plants and succulents section, we have these crocheted cacti by Yarn Plaza. And in this pattern, you will find three different variations of cacti that you can make. Next category is wearables. First up, we have a crochet floral bucket hat by Jennifer Noel. And as I shared in my previous free pattern roundup, you can do so much with granny squares, but seeing a tutorial and seeing examples of it helps us to visualize more of what we can do with them. And so I really loved the beige and the white. And that actually brings me to the next pattern I want to shout out, which is the Summer Daisy Bag by All About Ami. And yes, I know it says summer in the title, but honestly, you could change out the colors to be very spring themed by using pastels or soft neutrals. And this is the perfect opportunity to show off the one I made. So I used paint box cotton yarn, which is a lot thinner than the yarn that the pattern prescribes. It is a little bit smaller, and unfortunately I cut my yarn tails a little too short, and I was carrying a lot of things in this bag, and I ended up unraveling a part of this one. I am too scared to try to like figure out how I'm supposed to fix this, so I just haven't. I've, I've just left it, and, and it's pretty sad to see this gaping hole and all of my hard work. So if you guys have any tips on how to fix this, please let me know, because until then I'm putting it back in the closet so that it can't get any more damaged. Up next is this gorgeous gingham tote bag by Hey Hey Crochet. I've been seeing a lot of her wonderful tutorials on YouTube and this green palette is 
exactly what I was referring to when I said it reminds me of Isabel from Animal Crossing. Next is a Sakura Market bag, and this is on lovecrafts.com. This is the perfect bag to carry to your farmer's markets, which where I live in San Jose, there are a ton of them that pop up outdoors when the weather gets nice and warm like this. And I've definitely made more of an effort these past couple of years to bring reusable bags with me whenever I go shopping. So this is certainly something that I need to add to my list of things to make. If you enjoy gardening or crafting or even cooking, this little waist apron would be so perfect to carry your little knickknacks around. You could easily stick in some garden seeds in the pocket while your hands are working with tools and then to easily switch them out as you're moving from place to place in your yard. Woo, we did it, you guys. That was our free pattern roundup. And of course, if you are a designer yourself and you're watching this roundup, Please feel free to drop your free patterns in the comments below. I've got to bring Bailey the giant bunny up to the front here for her little spotlight. She's so cuddly. My giant bunny pattern is a premium pattern on my website. She's actually part of the giant pillow plushie series that I began. There are a bunch of other animals like the panda, the frog, the lion, the sloth, and I think that's it. She was also the featured pattern of last Thursday's $1.50 flash sale pattern. I will be holding a flash sale every single Thursday of this month. And so if you want to be notified on that, please feel free to join my mailing list. It is free, of course, and subscribe for more. I would love to connect with you on my social. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, happy crocheting.